the AI space is filled with secrets and hidden projects. But while these secrets have mostly been outside the public eye, OpenAI recently wrote an article that was quickly taken down within hours of it being published. Now why the sudden and suspicious withdrawal of the article? What was in it? Could it be the blueprint of some futuristic AI advancement? Well, while OpenAI successfully took down the article, they couldn't wipe it from the internet. Why? Let's just say that, thanks to the Wayback Machine Internet Archive, the internet never forgets. So let's dive into the details of this secret article that OpenAI doesn't want you to see. Sometime in May this year, Raza Habib, the co-founder and CEO of Human Loop, sat with some big names in the AI space. The rich roster of this high-profile meeting included Sam Altman, OpenAI's CEO, and 20 other developers, and the subject of the discussion was the bigger picture of AI. The discussion touched on the future of OpenAI, its mission, and how the AI company will likely impact society in the years to come. And a few days later, on the 29th of May, Habib published the key takeaways from this meeting in a detailed article. However, in an apparent U-turn 48 hours later, he took it down. Now this change of mind raised some eyebrows and left people questioning, why would you delete an article just 48 hours after releasing it? Well, it turned out that the article had gone too far. It gave away too much information on some things both Raza Habib, Sam Altman and the 20 other programmers felt should remain a secret. Habib would later remark that there was too much alpha in there, taken down. So what was this alpha that Habib and the others felt was too powerful to be disclosed to the public? It turns out the deleted article is a goldmine of information. It doesn't just contain some vital information, this article has the blueprint for the future of AI. I mean, it contains a detailed guide on the course AI might take in the near future. You see, one primary concern that OpenAI faces at the moment is that it is heavily GPU limited. And this has led to some issues that are delaying their long-term plans. Sam Altman acknowledged three key points where the GPU limitation was hindering progress. So what are they? First off, in computer science, there is something called Big O Notation. It's essentially a way to describe how complex algorithms and processes are. The least efficient is something called big O squared, which essentially says that an exponential amount of inputs are required to produce further output. An open AI can't cross this hurdle when scaling, which means they can't roll out their more advanced GPT-4 32,000 token context length model to a wider customer base. However, they are working seriously on releasing the 100,000 to 1 million token context soon. We are talking about some time this year, but anything beyond this, that would only come through some serious research breakthroughs. So we shouldn't expect anything beyond 1 million token contexts anytime soon. The OpenAI API is the next thing on a stranglehold because of GPU availability. And this has largely halted the API fine tuning for now. One of the major reasons for this, according to Sam Altman, is that they have not yet adopted some advanced fine tuning methods. So this has made the whole process compute intensive for them. However, Better days are in sight for the fine-tuning of their API, and they are also looking forward to hosting a marketplace of community-contributed models after doing so. In the end, the third thing impacted by the GPU availability is OpenAI's dedicated capacity offering. And the truth is that any customer who wants to unlock this feature at the moment must be willing to put up $100,000 up front. Beyond the GPU limitation and its effect, Sam also shared some insider details on OpenAI's short-term roadmap. The content of this roadmap, spanning from this year to 2024, is very exciting for everyone. So, what are OpenAI's plans for the remaining part of 2023? First off, they plan to roll out faster and cheaper GPT-4. This particular plan occupies a top place in Sam's agenda. So, in line with OpenAI's goal of cutting the cost of intelligence, they plan to apply every method to drastically reduce the cost of APIs over time to achieve this. The next thing on OpenAI's agenda is widening the context window. And as I said earlier, the goal is to push it where it can accommodate 1 million tokens. This really sounds insane, but it's already in the works. While API fine-tuning has been limited to older models, OpenAI plans to extend this to newer models. The last agenda for this year is the launch of the Stateful API. Currently, when you call the chat API, it takes you repeatedly through the same conversation history and the same tokens which you have to pay for repeatedly. But the Stateful API is more advanced and costs less because it remembers your conversations and doesn't require the same tokens repeatedly. Now, the biggest thing that Sam said about 2024 is OpenAI's plan to roll out multimodality to everyone but to make this a reality, they need a lot more GPUs to become available. So these are OpenAI's plans for the near term. However, do you think they can achieve them? Is there anything you think they won't achieve in the short term? 
let us hear what you think in the comments section below. That said, let's take a look at some of the other exclusive info revealed in the article. There's some bad news for developers who can't wait to get access to ChatGPT plugins. You see, a lot of developers have shown keen interest in getting access to plugins through the API. However, Sam's stand on this is that they are less likely to release this anytime soon. So what's the reason for this? Well, it turns out that the usage of plugins, other than browsing, strongly shows that they don't have product market fit yet. According to Sam, while a lot of people thought what they wanted was for their app to be inside ChatGPT, the reality is that they want ChatGPT inside their apps. And that is quite unrealistic at the moment. Now, one thing holding back some developers from building with the OpenAI APIs is competition. Some developers are quite nervous about building with their API because of the fear of waking up one day only to realize that OpenAI has built products similar to yours. However, is this fear valid? Well, Sam lays all these fears to rest by saying that OpenAI will not release more products beyond ChatGPT. You see, history is replete with great platform companies having killer apps. And Sam believes that by being customers of their own killer app, they will be able to make their APIs much better. In the end, the ultimate aim is for ChatGPT to be a super smart assistant that makes work a lot easier. But they have no plans to wade into a lot of other use cases, so developers can rest assured about building their products on OpenAI without the fear of them doing it bigger and better. The release of ChatGPT caused a huge furor and mixed feelings. In fact, some people are yet to warm up to the technology and its capabilities. So, there are renewed calls for the current models to be heavily regulated or even banned outright. However, in this exclusive discussion with Sam, he believes that future models should be regulated. But existing AI models are not dangerous, and it would be a huge mistake to regulate or ban them. So what do you think about Sam's stand on regulation? Do you think the existing AI models need strict regulation? Drop your comments in the comment section below. Now, OpenAI strongly believes in open sourcing their AI models. Sam believes in it so much that he is seriously considering open sourcing GPT-3. However, they are still reluctant to follow through on this plan. While there are many reasons why, the top of the pick is the issue of capacity. The major concern is how a lot of individuals and companies will host and serve large language models, also known as LLMs. Recently, a statement that Sam made has led to some back and forth. It's also spawned a flurry of attention-grabbing articles pushing an agenda totally different from what he meant in the statement. So what did Sam say that led to all the controversy? Well, in April this year, Sam told an audience in an MIT function that he thinks we're at the end of the era where it's going to be these, like, giant, giant models. We'll make them better in other ways. And this statement was skewed to mean that GPT-4 was the last possible large AI model. But this couldn't be further from the truth, because OpenAI's internal data suggests otherwise. The data shows that the scaling laws for model performance continue to hold. So making models larger will still produce better performance. However, the rate that OpenAI have been scaling their models isn't sustainable. They've made models millions of times bigger in just a few years, but it's not possible to achieve that in the long run. This doesn't rule out the fact that OpenAI won't continue to try to make the models bigger. What it means is that they will likely double or triple in size each year. So we are not seeing the end of large AI models anytime soon. And this means that scaling will continue to work. However, there will be a greater emphasis on other areas to generate better performing models. For example, OpenAI had to come up with some clever architecture to make GPT-4 so powerful. We actually did a video on GPT-4 secrets that goes into this in more detail if you are interested. So what is the implication of this on AGI development? Well, according to the scaling hypothesis, the central idea is that we may have most of the pieces in place needed to build AGI. For those that don't know, AGI stands for Artificial General Intelligence. However, a huge chunk of the remaining work will involve taking existing methods and scaling them up to larger models and bigger datasets. Now, if the insinuation made from Sam's statement was true, meaning that the era of scaling was over, then the interval between AGI releases should be much further away. However, since the scaling laws continue to hold, we are looking at shorter timelines until AGI is achieved. So, there you have it. All the info from the exclusive article. As you can see, there was a lot of really interesting points raised, which shows the future of AI is exciting. But there are some barriers to break through first, such as GPU limitations choking a lot of OpenAI's advancement. But we also got to look into OpenAI's plans for the coming years, and the likelihood of open sourcing GPT-3. 
There's a lot going on behind the scenes in the AI space and Tectonic Shift is here to keep you updated as they unfold. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and feel free to share it with your friends. And while you are at it, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.